Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. This one is the X-Files Serenata Immortale. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I read it and I forgot it and I reread it and I forgot it and I reread it and I forgot it. So hopefully that came out right. This was requested by a Patreon subscriber. If you too would like to join the Patreon, go ahead and hit the link down below in the description. It'll get you there. The rates are very friendly. Uh, leave a like in the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, I post twice daily, every day. Uh, sometimes just once a day, but that's the rare occasion where something comes up and I just don't have the time to do it. I've watched part of the X-Files back when it was on television. I was pretty young, but uh, it terrified the heck out of me. I could not really watch it. <laughs> it just it scared me to a point where I was just like nope I'm good just the opening credits it's one of the most terrifying songs you're ever gonna hear and the clips that they play with it and just oh it makes your skin crawl almost but uh, it's kind of interesting with what currently is going on and you know the fact that UFOs and etc etc have been kind of collabor not collaborated corroborated um, by government. <laughs> uh, a little terrifying, but it always makes me wonder, you know, what would Agent Mulder think? You know, I wish Agent Mulder was a real person so we could be like, you were right! You knew all along! <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and watch. Major Mulder, I'm Dana Scully. I've been assigned to work with you. Oh, isn't it nice to be suddenly so highly regarded? Actually, I'm looking forward to working with you. I've heard a lot about you. I didn't believe you, but I followed you. I'm nothing more than your faith that the truth was out there. Based not on facts, not on science, but on your memories that your sister had been taken from you. Your memories were all that you had. I've actually always wanted to like go back and watch the full series. Was it nine seasons or something like that? Plus the more recent episodes. I watched some of those more recent episodes. Um, I wish they would do more. Oh my gosh, especially since, you know, UFOs have been confirmed or whatever, or at least acknowledged. Um, it would be fascinating to see that just completely relaunch and kick into the new year. But uh, I've always wanted to go back and watch these older seasons of uh, X-Files. If you ever watched X-Files, what was your favorite part? Uh, did you enjoy the show? Do you wish they'd bring it back? I mean, they kind of did for like a limited run, but... Uh, Man, I wish David Duchovny and uh, Jillian Anderson, I think her name is, would just go for it and bring back the original folks, continue on with the Netflix. I think it was Netflix that brought it back. Just continue on with that. That would be great. So your methods, your theories are? Spooky. Do you think I'm spooky? I've been searching for. The truth is out there. The truth is in you. What? In you? No, it's out there. What are you talking about? The best relationships, the ones that last. The ones that are rooted in friendship. And one day you look at the person and you see something more than you did the night before. And the person. 
person who was just a friend is suddenly the only person you can ever imagine yourself with. Your work on the X-Files brought you very close to Agent Mulder. I have never met anyone so passionate and dedicated to a belief as you. It's so intense, sometimes it's blinding. There's no time! remember correctly this show had an insanely large audience didn't it pretty sure it was really highly rated um i can't remember oh my gosh i was so young when the show was actually still on the air was it still on the air yeah it was man i was probably in elementary school probably like fourth grade something like that very young extremely young I don't remember much from the early seasons all I know is that it was terrifying and I didn't want to watch it into outsiders we've given up on the very notion of justice I love how when it turned to the more like sensual relationship part, all of a sudden that guitar riff solo came in. <laughs> that is so cheesy and hilarious. <laughs> I love how these two barely aged if you watch that newer stuff you know what I'll go on record and say David Duchovny is one of my favorite actors um, I haven't seen him in a ton of stuff I mean I just watched Aquarius on Netflix. I think it was originally on Fox and it was about the Charlie Manson family. Wild, crazy stuff, but man, he is so good at acting and like playing like a cop or something like that. Like in this, it was obviously an FBI agent, but uh, in that show is so good. And I also liked him in Californication 
if you've never seen that show, it is wild, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it aired on Showtime here in the U.S. Um, I've seen that show twice all the way through. I think it was loosely based on his life, basically uh, fooling around addiction is what is how I'll say it. Um, lots of drinking, lots of uh, meandering and philandering. <laughs> it was very fun and interesting and very funny at moments, um, albeit crude. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen Californication, I highly recommend it. If you're a mature adult, okay, mature, mature adult, <laughs> or at least feign to be one, leave a like on the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel. I really do need to go back and watch X-Files, at least the original stuff. I've seen the, the reboot, and I liked it. I was like, dang. After watching that, I was like, I need to go back and, like, rewatch some of this stuff, because there was a lot of loose ends it was tying up that I just I had no idea anything about but uh, leave a like in the video if you like it subscribe to the channel I post twice daily usually uh, hit the notification bell if you feel like it uh, link down below link down below there we go link down below to the patreon and uh, yeah I shall see you around mm -hmm.